right, Vanessa Vanji. Oh, Vanessa Vanji. Vanessa Vanji. Vanessa Vanji. I cannot say her name. Oh my gosh. Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to my rapid fire review of RuPaul's Drag Race season 10. My name is Gilda Wabbit and let's hop right into it. We are on season 10. This is the very first episode. So we are here to meet the brand new girls, all 14 of them, 14, 14? I'm really bad at counting. First of all, how dare the Gerber baby sing her first line when she enters the room? And then also what the fuck, why is the entire cast of Shade Queens of MIC there? I mean, why are there five New York City girls? So the girls move on to a mini challenge, which is a walk-off while they are surrounded by the talent from Drag Race seasons past. We have exciting people like Yara Sofia, we have Jinx Monsoon, we have Bob the Drag Queen, we have Angina. Now this walk-off is really um, hit or miss. We have people like Miss Cracker and Monet giving you like cunty New York, but also comedy. Um, you have people like Karen Michaels giving you full on sexy. Um, Dusty Ray Bottoms, such as bringing you something different. And turns out, one Wonder of wonders, Monet Exchange wins. Um, I think that NYC is already here to slay. Next, we find out about the main challenge. The main challenge is dollar store drag, drag on a dime, 99 cent bargain bin, beautiful. This was, if I'm not mistaken, the very first challenge to ever happen on a season of RuPaul's Drag Race. So we're throwing it back. We're really giving you legacy right now. You know what I mean? Um, the girls start going in. The shade is flying around the room. Um, but my favorite thing that happens is when asked a question about constructing this outfit, Ms. Cracker says, you know, my mom is an artist and she always taught me to find garbage on the street and take that trash and turn it into the treasure. And uh, that thrills me. Is Miss Cracker like low-key gonna be my favorite philosopher drag queen this season? Monique Hart and Calorie Kardashian Williams are feeling very confident in the workroom. And TBH, I think their looks are looking really cute. They're shaping up to be very nice. So I'm hoping that they absolutely slay on the runway. Speaking of, now we are at the runway. Everyone comes out. There are looks galore. My tops for me were Miss Cracker, Mayhem Miller and Monique Hart. Monique was feeling very confident and I thought it turned out super great. Miss Cracker looks ridiculously amazing, so chic. And the same said for Mayhem Miller. The taste level that those two brought to the runway was very, very high and the execution was really good. So that was lit. The bottoms for me this week were um, Vanessa, Vanjie Mateo, and unfortunately, Calorie Kardashian Williams. It is a really cute dress. It like fits well, but the back doesn't look finished and it's not elevated to the same level that everyone else's is. You know what I mean? So they send away the safe girls, including, and I'm gagged by this, Monique Hart. I'm sorry, but that look was lit. Like, Mama was the queen of hearts. The makeup was on point. The hair was made of 99 cents or plastic bullshit. Come through, Monique. Anyway, whatever. You get a shoot from me, girl. I'm sorry that you're only safe. We get to the judging, and the judges put Mayhem and Yuhua and Cracker in the top. Very excited about that. yu is very chic, it's very thrilling. Um, Cracker and Mayhem are obviously heaped praises upon them. Much deserved. The bottom three turn out to be Dusty Ray Bottoms. What? I'm sorry, but that 10-man couture was like lit as fuck. Michelle reads her for her makeup. Y'all cast, y'all cast her. Cause she was her. You know what I mean? And now you're like, oh girl, your signature makeup, I don't like it. I'm upset. I'm very upset. I hope that does either like one soft, high glam, high femme face and like goes right back to being the punk rock dotted up goddess that she is because I don't want to see her do the makeup that I, you know, I do every day. I want to see Dusty Ray Bottoms do Dusty Ray Bottoms. You know what I mean? But also in the bottom, we have Vanessa Vanjie Mateo and Calorie Kardashian Williams, who are the two bottoms for me, certainly. Um, when the judging is all over and done with, Mayhem is given the win. Very exciting. It's been so long since she's, we've been thinking she was going to be on Drag Race. And here she is kicking ass, taking names. She is the winner. Um, the bottom two are Vanessa Vanjie Mateo and Calorie Kardashian Williams. Not a surprise. They lip sync. TBH, Calorie Kardashian Williams slays the whole fucking thing. She is so full of joy. She is like exuberant and fun. I just like had a good fucking time. Like if that, if she had been on a show up here in New York, I would have thrown dollars at her. You know what I mean? It was amazing. Vanessa Vanjie Mateo looks about as graceful as I do on my second shot of tequila and I'm a lightweight so 
Unfortunately, she goes home. Calvary Kardashian Williams is saved. Mayhem Miller is the winner of this episode. And we move on to next week. I am very excited. I am thrilled to see what comes out of all of this. Um, friends, what do you all think? Tell me in the comments below. What did you agree with? What did you not agree with? What are we going to chat about? Also, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe because that's what makes the YouTube world go round. My name is Gilda Wabbit. I will be back with another one of these next Monday. Stay tuned. It's going to be lit.